My father loved to cook. My father never let me do the cooking. He always will use my services to help him with the fire. Told me what is really important is making the fire, controlling the fire. Master your fire, and then you can cook up whatever you want in life. I think at the moment I didn't realize the value of those words. But if you think about it, obviously it was a great lesson for a young cook in the making. It's a metaphor for life itself. I hope my legacy is just making sure nobody goes hungry and without water after emergencies. Bolson Central Kitchen really began um, before even was created because I saw moments like Katrina in New Orleans, how we got thousands of Americans in the Superdome and we didn't have the system to feed them. Something very simple. Actually, it's not so complicated. The only thing we had to do is bring some of the cooks, bring some of the food. One hour, food is not gonna be the problem. It's all the problems to solve, but food and water shouldn't be. That's when I began thinking, well, it cannot be so hard. Since then, we've been, you name it, uh, in many situations. Every single hurricane, many of the fires, tornado situations, volcanoes in Hawaii and in Guatemala. We went to Ukraine thinking we will be helping the refugees like we've done in Venezuela, like we've done in Colombia, like we've done in the border between the States and Mexico. We arrived in Poland, day one of the invasion by the Russian troops into Ukraine. This has become our biggest uh, adventure. <laughs> we lost two members, uh, two cooks. They were sleeping in a community center south of Kharkiv, Chuhiv. Actually, Sardor, one of the cooks that lost his life, just one week before we did the video of him, and he said, I'm willing to give my life just to make sure these people can, can, can eat. His love for the people was so huge. He always loved to cook different types of rag pilaf. During the entire week, everybody in honor of him was making different rice pilaf with whatever they had. This was a way to pay tribute to him. His absence was not felt because many others took what he began in that town. And if anything, was more people up and cooking than less. So you see, he physically may be gone, but spiritually the, uh, he's there stronger than ever. But you see, there's many other ways to fight injustice. Um, some people do it with words, some people do it with actions, some people do it voting, uh, other people do it cooking. And Sardor did it cooking. People like them, they, they create legacy. It's not my legacy, it's their legacy, you see. It's the 5,000 Ukrainians we have doing over a million and a half meals a day. If anything, I'm used to the, the crazy bull guy that says, we can do it. But then you need somebody that makes it happen. Legacy, it's, in a way, it's, it's a light that keeps being carried on by others, even if they didn't know you. We are who we are thanks to the people that we had around us all our lives. Sometimes people touch us directly, like our family, parents, but the other times people that use random had an effect of us and just keep jumping from people to people to people and we don't realize. It's these points of light in the world that you, you, you know they're there. Sometimes they're dim, sometimes. But if you look, they are all there. Uh, when you bring them all together, it's a big light. But uh, even when we look at the sky and what we see the most is darkness, it is not. It's a lot of light, even in the darkest places. <laughs>